in this class i'll be using these values and i'll be creating autocad uh, drawings like this for my columns by using this given excel sheet all right so we'll start with the basics again whenever you have a project like this right how do we get into this particular view generally what happens you will be in 3d or plan plan view and as soon as you have done your analysis and you have done your concrete uh, design concrete frame design you will get something like that looks like this you have got all this percentages and everything if in case you don't know how to get to this i'll just show it to you so normally it will look like this you have to go over here concrete frame design or you can go for a design concrete frame design and come all the way here and click on display design info this is for the people who don't know how to get this particular percentages click on display design info now and then here you can see in this drop down in front a lot of options you have to go to total rebar percentage option click on this total rebar percentage option click on apply and click on okay so by doing that what you have done is you have got all the reinforcements in percentages now i'll go for the plan view i'll go for any fourth floor or third floor whatever it is i click on apply i click on okay so now whatever percentage that i'm seeing i am seeing it for what i am seeing it for beams everything is passed okay so if i just click over here and uh, just show it to you verify all members passed you can see all concrete members have passed the design check so this is for the beams right i want to see for columns to see for columns what i have to do i have to go for the elevations we have 3d we have plan view and right next to it we have got elevation view also click on the elevation view and go for anything i want to see along c for example this is my c great so i click on apply and click on okay all right so this is how you come to this particular view that we were talking about now if you come and see here i have got different percentage of uh, columns right i have got 2.96 percent of steel for this column 2.31 in the bottom i have got 3.74% and everything now we know that uh, as per the code as long as the percentage of steel is well within 4% it is well and says okay but on site that is not the case on site what happens the execution of the project becomes very difficult just imagine you you providing 3.74% of the steel plus the uh, the steel of beam is coming over there and we have to give ld and everything it becomes a very big issue even if you don't give ld because ld you provide the ends even if you don't provide ld and all the steel has to pass through the column so there at the junction of beam and column it becomes very difficult for you to do the concreting work so my advice would be to increase the size for the bottom part okay right now it is uh, 230 cross 450 we can make it 230 cross 600 also and the uh, requirement of steel will go down but in this class what my focus is my focus is to use a random value from here and to give you this type of drawing okay so i'll be using the upper one i'll be using 2.31 percentage okay i'll be using 2.31 percentage and i'm going to right click it is 230 cross 450 so i'll come for my excel sheet now whatever there is in the blue we have to fill it from r and from the e tabs so the value is 230 the value here is 450 let me just put these values over here 230 and 450 we can see 230 and 450 here column that's why naming of column is very important right so 230 cross 450 i can see after that the percent of steel required is 2.31% so i'll come here and put 2.31 so i have given i have taken the value from e tabs now and what i am getting i am getting with that you have to redesign this option because it is not safe the required is 2.31% but we are providing only 1.55% so i have to increase the amount of steel so 16 of 8 is not sufficient so what can i do can i go for the next uh, dia of bar that is 20 so i go for 20 and i 8 is required so 2.43% we are getting and it is coming as safe so what i will do is i'll provide 8 bars of 20 mm dia rebars in my column that is what basically means okay so if i go for 16 now if i go for 16 instead of 20 if i go for 16 it is failing over here because required is 2.31% and we are providing only 1.55% okay so this is not going to work so i have just increased it to 20 can i take 17 instead of 20 you cannot take because there are certain standards in india that is for that are followed like after 12 mm dia bar in the market in the factory only 16 mm dia bar is produced after 16 20 is produced up to 20 25 is produced internationally there are different dias of bar that are available but in india 10 12 16 20 25 so on and so forth okay so you cannot give 17 here or 18 here for that matter after 16 the next available dia in the market is 20 only so we have to provide 20 so how do i convert this value into autocad drawing so for that i'll come i'll take you back to autocad let me just copy this for now let me just take it on the top okay i'll delete all these dia bars So what I have got here is a, co a column having dimension 450 and 230, in which I have given 40 mm as my cover. Okay, when I give 40 mm as my cover, so the the rest of the remaining size is what is available for me to put my columns. Sorry, my rebars. So how many rebars I'm supposed to put? I'm supposed to put eight. So four will go in the top, and four will go in the bottom. 
so i'll come over here i'll select this particular uh, circle i'll copy it okay and i'll click on the center and drag it out when i'm once i drag it out i get the option of array all right let me explain again what i have to do step one is select this go for copy second then come and set from the middle okay so let's do that you get an array option over here see if you use a normal array what happens if i go for the normal array automatically i'll get i'll get like this then i have to arrange the number of columns and everything to becomes a very very big thing for me okay so what i do is that is i'll just go select this object first go for copy command select it from the middle i'll get the array option over here click a and enter okay and it'll ask you how many number of bars do you want i want four bars in this particular row click on enter and then just drag it out like this okay drag it out until it, it touches the other end and then you can just let it go like this okay once that is done i just copy this from here i use the mirror command and i can just mirror them all over here do you want to erase the source object the answer is no i don't want to erase it like this you can do your work all right now i'll use one more example because this is very simple i'll use one more example let me take uh, something like uh, 2.57 or 2.96 is whatever if you want we can take i'll take 2.57 here anything within 2.7 is well and fine anything beyond 2.7 it will be very difficult for you to get your work done so i'll go for 2.57 here so next my next column 2.57 again the naming of the column also you can give here okay it is up to you so 2.57 is there here as soon as i put 2.57 it becomes unsafe and i have to redesign this particular thing again i have to take the uh, size of my column also it is also very important so where is 2.57 let me right click on it it is 230 cross 450 let me minimize this let me make it 230 let me make this as 450 okay i have given the column from the from my e tabs and i have given the percentage of steel required from my e tabs so e tabs work is done now whatever i have to do i have to do from my own now so 2.57 percent is there and i'm getting 1.55 percent that is being provided required is how much 2.57 so it is failing so what i'll do is instead of putting 16 i'll give 20 okay even then what happens it is see there are two dias here dia 1 and dia 2 now what is this dia 1 and dia 2 basically if i open up autocad whenever we have a bigger dia the bigger dias will come on the outer outer side and the, and the smaller dia will come in the middle side okay why do we do this so eccentricities that doesn't become come into the picture okay so, so bigger dia will come on the outer side and smaller dias will come in the inner side so that's why i have given two type of dias okay really do uh, really are we able to just put 20 of it and be done with it okay from the economic stand point of view we have to try to make it as economical as possible so right now uh, for 20 of it it is failing if i make it 20 of 10 what happens then it becomes 3.03% okay it is coming safe but i'm providing 10 bars of 20 dia bar so can i mix it up can i put 20 and 16 and see what happens so i'll put uh, 20 of it okay 2.57 is required but 2.43 is what we are providing i'll put 16 of 2 so 2.82 as you can see what we have done instead of providing 3% of the steel we have provided 2.82% okay now this bars just imagine these bars are going to go from where to where from this level to the all the way to the top okay again we can decrease as we go up but at this level at least we can decrease the amount of steel required right instead of providing 3 we are providing 2.82% okay so 20 and 16 we have to use together so how do we do how do we use it together i'll come back to the autocad i'll just copy this whole thing paste it over here now what i'll do is i'll delete all these three bars again i'll delete all these three bars again now what i have to do i have to copy this again select the object go for the copy option scroll in okay select from the middle option pull it out as soon as you pull it out we have array option at the bottom click on a enter I want five copies this time. Click on Enter. This adjusts a little bit, and you will be able to place this. Now, why do I need five? Because eight plus two is how much? We need ten dias. So five on top and five on bottom. So I'll just select all of this again. I'll go for the mirror command. I can copy and paste also no problem. I just I like to use mirror instead. So uh, it is source object. I click on No. So what happens? I have given all this bars. Now I've got ten bars. Now how do I differentiate between twenty and sixteen dia bar? it is very simple you have to go to the hatch command okay and uh, in go to the solids and you can take any color that you want i, I have taken a red you can take green blue whatever you want and just go ahead and start coloring the 20 dia bars like this in the middle i'm going to provide 16 of 2 okay once all this is done hit escape select this object go for the copy command drag it out okay 
again one more copy we have to make again we can just copy this and drag it down like this now what I'm going to do is I'll use the text tool and I'll go for uh, 16 daya bar okay again on the way uh, you write this depends on the company to company right so if your company uses some other notation follow the notation so I'm providing 16 team if you want to just move it around a little bit to make it more uh, proper we can just move it like this and once that is done we'll go for this copy it and drag it down here and then we we'll just double click this and make it 20 now how do we differentiate between 16 and 20 I have to hatch this thing also so I can type HA short for hatch and then hatch this thing and click on enter that way your work will be done so what did we do we went to the ETAPS we took a value from ETAPS take for example 2.57 percent and we took the percentage and we took the size of the column we came to our Excel sheet, we input it into this Excel sheet, whatever value was required. After inputting it between two dias, 20 and 16 and everything, uh, we try to make it as, as efficient as possible until we got safe. And one more thing about this Excel sheet is, if I make it 16 here and make it 20 here, okay, it's a recheck bar dia. Okay, because always bigger dia and then smaller dia. All right. In some cases, what happens, you might get 16 a lot and 20, you might get one or two. In that case, if you want to mix it up, you can mix it up. You can make 20 in the middle and you can put all the 16 in the outside. It has to be as symmetrical as possible. Okay, remember that in a column, your your rebars, whatever you're putting, your longitudinal rebars, it should be as symmetrical as possible. So you can put 20 in the middle and the rest of them can be 16 then. It will be very symmetrical along the x-axis and along the y-axis also. It will be very symmetrical. So eccentricity will not come into the picture. See, if you put 120, 120 dia here, 120 dia here, you will induce eccentricity into your own uh, column. Okay, so as much as possible, avoid it. See, generally, it will not make a very huge issue, but if in an earthquake prone zone, in those cases, it will be an issue. Okay, so your column rebar arrangement should be as symmetrical as possible. Okay, if you want to print this, you can just hit Ctrl P. I'll go for the previous plot only option. I'll go for the window. I'll create a window like this here. After which, I'll click on OK and let me just make it 111. Click on Save it will pop up like this so if you create a black and white uh, uh, this one also they would know okay, wherever the hatching work is done there is 20 and wherever the hatching is not done that is 16 some people what they do they create a smaller circle inside the bigger circle basically they take an offset okay so if I take offset of this and give off offset of 5 it will come something like this okay so they do this also so 16 will be looking something like this copy paste this over here so it is totally up to you and this Excel sheet I'm providing to all my page students. The old ones, stop using that. Use the new Excel sheet. Okay. And if you're interested, you can go and check out our courses now in the market. We have two ETAP Safe and RCDC plus that Pro. The cost is 2499 But if you apply the coupon code, you will get it for 1250 rupees. Okay. 2500 and 1250 rupees you'll get. And if you don't want to study uh, Stat Pro, you already know Stat Pro. You just want ETAP Safe and RCDC. You can go for the other old one, ETAP Safe and RCDC apply the coupon code it will cost you thousand rupees 50 percent discount is going on and one more thing is this excel sheet that we have here right if you go to the content part in the english version okay not in the hindi version you go to the english version this is very important okay here i have explained everything in detail okay what i have i have shown you i just shown you for one particular uh, column right i have shown you from bottom to the top how you're supposed to arrange the columns how you're supposed to take the bars and everything Okay, I was supposed to combine all the given columns and everything. All right, this is a very important class. Don't miss it. By using this Excel sheet, you'll be able to do your work very easily. If you don't have RCDC with you, see, it's a simple thing, right? I did this from only one column. Like this, I have got so many columns over here. It will take a too long a time if I'm doing it with hand in AutoCAD. So shortcut is RCDC. But if in case you don't have RCDC, you can use the Excel sheet. Okay, and you can do your work. Just make sure you watch this class. In the English version, this class is there. All right. So English and Hindi, both of them are available content-wise. And this also is available in the main course also. It has FRC, DC and Stat Pro. It is also available. And one more thing that I have done is, if you just come for the main sequence, all right, just come here. This one update I have made. If you're using RCDC, I have shown how to do your entire detailing in RCDC. Okay, even including how to make title blocks and everything. Okay, footing submission drawing, slab submission drawing, all the submission drawings I have shown. All right, if you have RCDC, you can go for it. Okay, so this class, this particular exercise, I'll upload there. You can go and access it from there. Okay, so that's all for this class. Thank you.